is a very small haul from Jackson's, which I had to wait for a really long time. I forgot when I ordered it now. But anyways, it seems that the more you order or the, um, the more expensive your order is, then you get obviously free shipping and then it kind of arrives really quickly. Whereas if you order something for a smaller amount, it uh, not only do you have to pay uh, for the shipping, but it also takes a little bit longer. So basically I have ordered Bockingford Tinted Cream, uh, cold pressed watercolor paper, and this is the 300 GSM. I have never thought that I might like cream watercolor paper. However, um, also it cost me £2.70 for a large sheet, which would have been four parts of this, and then I asked for it to be cut into four. So Basically, that's what it is, and I am going to cut it even further if I want to like play around with it. But it's a good size if I want to frame something. So I got inspired um, by ordering this green paper totally by Ali Brown. She has um, showed a few um, pieces of art she did on green paper, which I thought was just so stunning. Um, I, sh I saw it on her Instagram, so. If you're not aware of who she is, I'll try to link her um, or put her information up here. So, okay, um, quite looking forward to work with this. This requires a specific color palette to work with, and then it just looks really, really beautiful. So let's see how I get on with that. And then I wanted to order um, some of the Caran d'Ache pastel pencils to work with. Um, like a skin tone so you can see I ordered a specific color palette anyways uh, for some reason I thought it'd be quite sort of chalky so if you can see at the um, carbothello pencils which are chalk they're not glossy like the lead is quite chalky whereas in these it seems quite sort of glossy but but then they are a pastel. Hmm. So anyways, I've never tried this before, so I'm quite excited. So basically, what colours did I get? I got Rose Untraquinon. I can't even pronounce that, I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Terracotta, Rose Portrait, uh, Rouge Herculum, and this one doesn't say it at all. Where's the colour name for this one? Okay, I'm not sure <laughs> what to tell you here. Okay, so the numbers 0330685825715 and 044. Hold on, this is Golden Ochre. I've got it in here on the print printout. So Yes, yeah, so Portrait Pink, Golden Ochre, Terracotta, Herculunum Red, and Anthraquinoid Pink. So, really beautiful colours. I don't know why they're so expensive. They are £3.10 per pencils. I mean, they're quite heavy, so I assume you have a lot of um, pastel in there. But, yeah, they're super expensive, so only five pencils do do cost you quite a bit but I like I said I wanted these colors for like um, cheeks uh, on my illustrations I don't have a good example now to show you but I thought I'll just give you a quick swatch since I don't really have okay so I'm going to swatch it for you on this vellum paper which is supposed to be quite good for pencils and pastels um, so let's do this. So this is the golden ochre. Okay, so it's really beautiful. So that's the golden ochre. Maybe I'll just zoom in. Okay, so hopefully you can see better. Next one is 
Herculum red. I mean, it's obviously not a red at all. It's a perfect Caucasian skin tone. They are quite beautiful. They have a nice texture to them. I'm not really into like dry pastels at all, but I do find it looks quite pretty with a bit of um, illustration, combining them with a bit of illustration. Anthraquinoid pink. These colors are all very, very pretty. I can't even imagine how much a set would cost if, if they cost so much when you buy them open stock. And let's see, uh, portrait pink. And finally, terracotta. So this I bought for a darker skin tone or for shadowing. So these look quite nice. And I do like warming things up on the skin front with a bit of something like this. So that would work really nicely. Okay, so that's it for today. Let me just zoom out again. And um, that's it really. I will link everything that I can as always below. I have been filming too many videos today, so I'm kind of need to um, need to have a cup of tea and catch a breath. I hope you're all good and thanks for watching and see you soon.